of the RV being home. I changed into some clothes that are more comfortable to sweat in because um, we don't have it hooked up to power for the AC yet. We're gonna put some things away that have piled up as usual, except this time we don't have to drive them to the storage unit. It is very steamy out and in here. All right, so I'm really excited. I don't think I've shown you guys all these things, but I ordered us a, a set of silverware. Um, I've had my eye on these forever, and I finally found that on, I was looking on Amazon, and they had a used set available for like $20 less. So I went ahead and got them. They're really nicely weighted, and I just think they're cute for the RV. It's kind of a fun space to play a little more than we might at home. Gotta have lighters. Okay, let's clean that out a little bit more. I didn't really think about like dividers, but that's the set. <laughs> oh my God, it already looks so much fancier in here. Let's see what else we have here. We got a trasheroo, which I learned about, you're watching a lot of um, like overlanding YouTubers. It's like a giant backpack, but you can clip it around a spare tire, or we're gonna try to strap it to our ladder. Um, and basically it's your trash bag, and it's like waterproof, washable, um, so you can like wipe it out and stuff and make it stinky. And obviously it's huge, so when we're doing long-term like off-grid stuff, we're gonna put all of our recycling in here and sort of bag our trash up into mini bags that also go in here so that when we're done we can sort easily and I'm really excited we almost bought two one for trash and one for recycling but there's no way we're gonna fill this up on our last trip we mentioned that we were I was putting together an Amazon cart of some organizers for the walls I don't know if we were that specific but I got a uh, three different ones of these hanging thingies this is gonna go here, and then I got this matching, sort of like bigger, but one. I kind of, I kind of didn't really like plan plan. Yeah, I didn't super plan where to put these things, but to figure it out, that will not work. <laughs> if we just start holding it up to the wall, it'll fit somewhere. Ooh, do you think the cutting boards would fit in this? Yes, and I bet that other one would too. So that could be cool. I don't know, I'm gonna set it here as like a, maybe this could happen. I'm so excited. I've been so nervous all day about moving this stupid thing. I don't know, this is boring. I'm just gonna put the rest of this stuff away and we will be keeping you posted on all of the mini projects. I think Casey's already ready to go to Home Depot and get something started, so. I've been in here shopping peel and stick backsplash tile for three hours. Meanwhile, Paige is making actual progress on something meaningful. What's that? The re reupholstery. Yeah, I know, but which one is it? Oh, one the of the cushions? Big. The seat. The seat. The base. So this is the back. You won't really see it. Yeah. But it matches perfectly. It looks good. Both of these were free. This was my parents' old sheet. Uh huh. And this was from the Buy Nothing group. Free. Free fabric. Let's go. Like, oh yeah, it's like canvassy, linen-y, it it's woven. It feels like waterproof. It's not. It like, feels like upholstery fabric. It feels like outdoor upholstery. Oh, that's I'm seeing this for the first time. <laughs> it looks great. It's, I know you never see this part, but this like clean line. It's good. It's the clean line there. for me. Wait, wait, fit. It's so nice. Doesn't and it won't good. show everything because it's a print. Yep. You know? Dirty kid, no problem. And I'm gonna keep the old ones. So on like a laundromat day, we can wash these and have something. And on. you did Velcro on these instead of zippers. Yeah, I didn't want to buy these long zippers. I mean, <laughs> it makes this a little less glamorous, but. Do you think it'll un when we sit our butts on it and it squeezes? 
No, because this is like really tucked into the seat. Cool. You want to sit on it? I'm going to sit on it. I didn't hear the Velcro go when I did that. That's what I was expecting. I, it's very comfortable from down here. I did not buy anything for this project. Can I say that again? This was all just laying around. I didn't buy anything. It just feels good when it's like, I want to do a thing and you just have everything to do it. We gotta go to bed. Is it late? I got a huge sales pitch in the morning. Is that what that is? Yeah, I stopped shopping for tile and started working on... Work. Work. Bye. I'm not filming your ass. Don't worry, Mom. Okay. Okay. It's just so tricky. Rin. I won't pull the piano system. Oh. Wow. Oh my god, the gray with the gray. I don't think the photos, I don't think the camera's getting the light, the white balance right. No. Yeah. It looks pretty clean. Look at this, is the worst. Look at how grody that is. Get my shadow out of it. Gross. So, so grody. It's so weird to have our house spread out in front of the RV. This is the craziest thing about the RV. It's always the same inside, no matter what's outside. I know that sounds stupid, but it's kind of hard to wrap your head around until you're... It always surprises me, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Right? It's the same in here, and you forget what's out there, and you look outside, yeah. and you're like, oh, that's different than last time we were out there. That's why, like, a crowded campground doesn't bother me at all, because once you get, we're, like, really isolated in our bubble. Once you get closed in here, it's all the same. But when you're somewhere cool, you have to make a point to go outside. Yeah. <laughs> you have to remember to look at it. might as well be in the driveway. Okay, looks great. Coming up. Three more to do. Trace Moss. Lumber Hall. Mm -hmm. Say hello, everyone. Mm -hmm. We got the lumber monkey. You ready to go? Ito. Ito. It's so awesome to be back in the RV at home. Sorry for the air conditioning noise. There's a heat advisory today. The RV renovation is back on. We got we got work to do back here, and the first thing I'm taking out is this wall in the bedroom. I'm not taking the whole wall out. I'm just taking off this panel. Check this out. It's just tacked in with nails. And I went back and nailed it up after we first bought the RV the first time this popped out. And it just pulled the nail heads through. And this thing bounces and flex, it comes out. So we're gonna, so we've got studding back here, some sort of structure. And the plan is to actually, um, do an accent wall. I bought cedar planks, tongue and groove to go over it. So I guess the first step is getting all these panels and boxes pulled out so that I may rip this wall apart. Let's do it. So I've got these tongue and groove cedar boards that we're going to put across the wall here. Before I do that, I'm going to want to add some blocking in between um, the existing framing here. Just to give me, you know, one more point to nail across. It'll be right up and down the middle. Coax. I don't even know. I don't even know what I would do with it. This one fits, we'll cut the rest. Close enough. 
With no regard for space or time or speed Unless it's 45 I think I'm just gonna start laying panels across so that they're always straight. This could get out of hand over here. And I'll come back and mark this and cut it with my oscillating tool later. Deal? Deal. Every day is a play in an Down. Paige is scared of the nail gun, YouTube. Whoa, you're almost done! Oh. oh my gosh, it looks so good! Does it look cool? I gotta like get back to get see back. it, you know? Get back. Oh my god! Better than I imagined. Me too. This is so mild. It's gonna be okay. I, I just can't do this any longer. Okay. It's so nice, the air gun. Yeah, it's so nice! Yeah. My scribe work is pretty shitty, but you know, that's what trim is beautiful. for. Have you ever heard of trim, people? The that's why you do it. coming off. I mean, look Three at this. More. The room seems bigger because there's not this big Because there's not a fucking wall, wall coming at you? Yes. It looks dope. Oh, Casey. I told you it was going to be good. You didn't trust me? I, you didn't trust me. No, I did. It's you just better me. than I imagined. It's really nice. The wall's taller in the center than over here because of the curve of the... Of course. Ceiling. So I've been kind of raising them up on one side over here, but all right, let me do this last one. Do you think one day the whole RV will be like pimped? Even like, more customized? Probably. I didn't imagine. Every time doing, something goes like, wrong, I'm not going to the RV two, store, you know? Your new wall. I mean, yeah, do you, you sell can. RV walls here at the RV store? Okay, I'm gonna go now. Stand back, run! Victory! Am I declaring premature victory? Maybe. But that's sweet. Let's put the shit back on it. Oh yeah, we gotta finish this hole. Oh, well, thanks for putting that right on the money. I had no way of predicting that would work. And I still have to round out the vent down here. It's uh, not quite the right size. And uh, I'm tired, so let's finish work. Dang! Look at how dope this is. Cool. Put a Sharpie. In no particular order. Ba da da da! Well, then maybe get some different shoes. Mm. Mm. Maybe they have other slip-on kid shoes. Henry and I are going to go out to the RV and deal with this box of RV stuff. We're going to go hang some fun things on the wall. I feel like this whole part of the renovation is like the finishing touches. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to start with is this little um, fabric pocket that I got on Amazon and it came with a little hook. We also got some command hooks and then to keep it from like lapping on the wall while we drive we're going to put some velcro here and on the wall. What do you think Henry? That looks good. It does look pretty good. Thank you. Perfect. Henry's got the command hooks we got. They're clear so that they don't um, look they don't look what? like anything on the wall. Okay, that's 
cute. And then we're gonna do some Velcro to avoid this number. Do we have Velcro? Yeah, we have the Velcro down right here. All right. Feels pretty well stuck on. Don't peel any of the backing off, okay? We can. Well, let's put them in for fun right now, but then I'm gonna take them right back out just so everything has a minute to kind of like cure. But yeah, look, that still comes right out. Super easy. Okay. Yeah, so the idea with these is just when it gets cluttered and messy and it's like transitioning from, you know, Casey doing some video editing here and there's cameras and stuff and it's time to eat a meal, he can just sort of throw cameras or cords or whatever in these pockets and we can set the table and eat quickly or whatever. All right, I got one little wall figured out in the hallway. Well, so there's what that looks like. There, it's all in the shot. <laughs> so this is another one of those little pocket things, obviously, and it's the same print, just in a different colorway. And then these are some like pre-work we've done for this desert unit for our desert trip. So that's like a print of a snake skin, and this is a cactus in a sunset scene. I did not Velcro these yet, so they're just hanging loose. Kind of just give myself some time to think about that before I commit. Um, I don't have a piece of art hanging there, obviously, but I have the bottom piece here. We're so excited to have the RV at home. Home. We've been in storage with this thing for Too long. five months now. Um, we, had, we had shit everywhere. We had the RV in storage because we bought a new house and the driveway was all torn up. And we finally got a contractor to at least come out and flatten the driveway. We've been trying for a long time. So now it's here and like not a second too soon. Yeah, we have a lot of projects that got put on hold. We're not allowed to do them at the storage facility. Frowned upon. Our trip out west, that's coming up like so soon. So we had to get this stuff done before sooner than I even want to let you know. Yeah, it's very Once you know how close it is. And, yeah. <laughs> we don't uh, want to stress you guys out. But we still have the big list. Yes, in case you finally crossed something off. I marked one thing off, but we've got progress started on the dinette. Yes. The kitchen backsplash just came in the mail today. Yeah. Boxing in the wiring, I've got all the materials for it. I've made a game plan. The inverter install, that's exciting. We've had that for a while. That's going to be a totally separate video we're going to do for you all. So subscribe if you want to see that. The goon table's not happening. We just didn't get the parts for it. New step. <laughs> we have parts for everything. We're going to knock this out. Next video, it's just going to be like boom, 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 boom. It's gonna have to be. And the big scary project, oh my gosh, should we tell them what it was? It's not happening. We said it might not happen. It will happen, but not before this next trip. I'm willing to tell them. Guys, yes. we're gonna we're gonna paint the RV. We're not gonna paint the RV. That's true. Casey uh, has a good friend of mine from high school. Who's an artist. Um, he painted the space fan that you saw in our house tour yes. video. He did a commissioned art piece for us at the office at work. We love um, his style. And so we want him to do like a muralized like painting uh, like all the way around the RV. So we're not talking about just painting white and putting some stupid ass graffiti on the sides. We well, have like that. not RV graffiti. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we're really excited about that. It's going to be a personalized touch. It's going to be very um, loud and you're going to see it coming down the road. You and, will see uh, us. If you see us, you'll see us. Yeah, yeah, so that's going to happen. We just could not get the logistics together and get it to a place with enough time to do the work. Um, right, so he's not local to us. He's so not we would local. have to travel to him with the RV and give him enough time to get it done and stuff. But so we're make that happen. We're taking the timeline pressure off of that. We're going out west without it. It's last trip in its current skin. And then it will yeah. shed its skin like the cicadas that you've heard in our last four videos. Oh just screeching all the time. You can probably hear them a little bit right now. You hear those motherfuckers? I'm so over it. It's been weeks. For those of you up north, those are devil bugs. They came from hell to destroy us. Scream. That's it. That's, That's the end it. of the video. Let's go. It's so hot out here. Jesus H. But yeah, more renovation. Keep watching. Subscribe. Like. Share it with your mom. Um, our moms watch. They do. Anything? <laughs> Thanks, mom. Thanks, moms. You are half of our likes and views. Yeah. Bye. It's too hot. Turn this light off. Jesus. Just with that light off? It might mean it actually might.
it's, it's, yeah, you have just the heat of a thousand suns instead of the light of a thousand suns.